James. I spent a lot of time thinking about my vows. I thought about all the love stories I've read in books, of which there are many, seen in movies and heard in songs. And I realized I just need to say our story. Meeting you at the Cascade concert the night before New Year's Eve almost didn't happen. The pragmatist in me calls it coincidence, while the romantic says it was fate. Maybe it can be both. Wise men say Only fools rush in But I can't help falling in love with you If it was fate or coincidence that brought us together that night, it was human intervention in the form of Mike that gave us the extra nudge. I have the exceptional honor of introducing Diana and James to each other in the beginnings of their relationship. Diana, a little bit more than five years ago, my life changed forever. We were just about this close to each other, seated at a kitchen tabletop, with Mike standing right there too, actually. <laughs> I fondly remember you strategically and skeptically questioning how seriously Mike took his job of Campbell's tomato paste quality <laughs> control. He was so flustered that he had to leave to bed, leaving us alone to talk all night. It was a great move. Take my whole life to For I can't help falling in love with you Around 4 a.m., we realized how late it was and you offered to walk me to my car. You had been the gentleman that your parents raised, and you lent me your hoodie because it was cold. I lent you my blue zip-up tech hoodie to keep warm. We hugged, and while driving home, I regretted not kissing you, but I knew I'd be saving that for our wedding day. <laughs> Today, that same blue zip-up tech hoodie that you returned to me on our first date is now half hanging off the chair in our home and now permanently yours, as I am too. I love you for jumping into our relationships as bold as you did. Only three months into dating, you agreed to join me for my birthday to run and climb through what was hopefully just mud, crazy military obstacles, and freezing water at Tough Mudder. I think that speaks to how our love and partnership is. Bold, unconditional, and unstoppable. Even though long distance, I felt our love grow even though I missed you every day we were apart. We did three years of long distance, and I can't say it was easy, but you made it as easy as something like that can be. You. Oh. Look at that train. Choo choo. <laughs> <laughs> the trail of love started as a long distance relationship, and since then, it has taken them to various EDM concerts, <laughs> numerous national parks, adventures to exotic countries around the world, and it all circles back to a place they call home in Santa Clara, California. You make me 
laugh on the good days, which with you is nearly every day, and you comfort me on the bad ones. You encourage me to grow, whether it's being more social instead of always staying at home. <laughs> Going on adventures that I wouldn't normally do, like a trip to Thailand. James, there are so many things I love about you. You are the most thoughtful person I know. You will drive people to and from the airport even if they try to convince you otherwise. There are more stories about James like saving my ass, stumbling home, <laughs> drunk in from like some dinner party, and like him taking care of me, right, than, 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 than the other way around. If it weren't for the fact that this is this is his wedding, like he would have cooked this dinner for you guys, right? When I was writing this, I was trying to think of some things that like really describe Diana, and all I could really think of was fire and passion and beauty and just this incredibly strong force. If she wants something, she's going after it. Hence, James sitting next to her. Um. <laughs> yeah, you can see, actually, they have very strong bond. And I'm actually so happy for them. To be honest, I don't think I can offer any better advice for them to continue their life. I think they already have a good intuition on that, yeah. It's extremely clear that the two of them represent a perfect pairing because each of them complements the other so well. They balance one another, and while each of them are tremendous individuals on their own, together they are even better. I vow to support your love of stories, books, and art. I want to build a world for ourselves that is as adventurous, wonderful, fun, and inspirational as the fantasy ones you love reading about. I love every part of you and want you to be yourself, especially in a world that's constantly trying to make you something else. I love you, Dinobot Now and Always. That said, I vow to make space for our shared interests and also leave space for our individuality. In the words of one of my favorite authors and one of your favorite musicians, I am yours and you are mine from this day until the end of my days. I don't know what our future will look like, but I know it's ours. I love you. Darling, so it goes some things I meant to be. Then by the power vested in me, I pronounce you husband and wife. So you may kiss the bride. Seeing you all, I feel so incredibly loved, and I think I speak for James too. As a favor to Diane and myself, have an incredible night. Eat, drink, laugh, dance, love, and cheers. Thank you. You bring an energy.
energy I've never felt before Some kind of chemical that reaches through my core Feels like as far as you and me I've never had a choice, you feel like home You're like the opposite of all of my mistakes Tear down the biggest walls and put me in my place I know that kind of comfortable you cannot replicate You feel like home So it's been a long time since I last had a captive audience to whom I could lecture I'm sure I can make good use of the two hours allotted to me Call this a timeline for Diana Don't just feel it in my heart After James won the election, a landslide victory, I might add, he used his power to do what any treasurer does. He would take chocolate milk and candy gummy eggs from the school student store and gave them to Ryan and me for free. So I asked Yalen, what's your summary for you member James here? So she said, not the boy. <laughs> That's right, cause for you and me, I got no alibi, you feel like home, oh, so if you're asking me, saying oh how do you know, I don't just feel it in my heart, don't just feel it I will instead ask for you two to take a moment to look around at all the lovely friends, family, esteemed colleagues <laughs> that are here for you. I know this day has been a whirlwind, but this is the first of many memories you two will make together as a now tax-dependent couple. I hope nothing but more happy, loving memories and more trips to Hawaii. Through a lifetime of chocolate milk and gummy eggs. May your marriage be a love story for the ages. Cheers, guys. <laughs>